like to see everybody play hard. I like to see everybody stay healthy. I like to see, you know, great competition. I'm looking forward to watching the film to really see who's making strides. Because, um, I mean, in the spring, you do want to build team in the spring, but you, but you pay a lot. I, you know, you pay a lot of attention to how's a guy progressing individually. Is he getting to the point where he can? Be on the travel team, or he can be in the top two and get reps, or become a starter. Um, and there, there's, there's just so many candidates for playing time right now, more than I can ever remember, on both sides of the ball, uh, mostly defense, but there's still some playing time up for grabs and starting jobs up for grabs on offense as well. Would it be safe to say, though? I mean, just on paper, you look at all the yeah. starters you lost on defense compared to offense. It would seem yeah. like the offense would have its way more often than not this spring, but would you say that what was today was reflected that the defense held well, its own? Well, I, no, I thought defense did a good job. I mean, you know, I don't know how to say it other than it, it, was, a, it was a good good scrimmage. It was, it, 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 it's been, it wasn't a situation all spring where the offense just had its way with the defense. Um, but the other thing, too, is Throughout the spring, you're, you're installing things. You're trying to teach things. And when you make it strictly competition, you uh, sometimes you can forget to teach the fundamentals or you can forget to see everybody you need to see or you, uh, or you there may be some things that you want to install that may not be the very best thing to win the drill that day, but it's something that you need to expose your team to so in the fall they'll be ready. And uh, so... We've got a, I think we had a good mix of, of um, installing everything that we wanted to expose our players to, see as many uh, different guys in different positions as possible, but still we would compete well. Now, if I, if it was just, if you said the only goal was to win the game, you know, you may not play everybody you played in the game. You might not run the certain looks. You may have done some more blitzes. You may have done some more. Trick play, whatever, you know, so we're, we're trying not to just make it to where the only thing that's important is to win the game because there's other things that we're trying to find out as we go. So, uh, but overall, I thought I thought both sides of the ball got better. Coach, as I say and listen to you, I hear you talk about doing their job and, and good. Is there anything from today that was a surprise for you? Not really. I mean, um, I think that most – of the spring was it was kind of more of the same for me um, you know rum did have a you know he had his biggest day which was nice for rump and uh you know Krimpus had a big day you know it just every you just never know who's going to have a big day in any particular scrimmage but i wasn't really surprised by much of anything coach back to already cousins right quick first Prospect playing safety, wasn't very thrilled. Now his eyes light up. Right. Talking about it. Talk about his Right. Well, right now his body type is, is more of a safety type. He's long. He's lean. He runs well. He can cover people in space. Uh, and if you want to blitz him, pressure him, you know he can do use some of his pass rush skills. Um, we are hoping for him to learn our nickel position, which is. It's a hybrid between a defensive back and, a, and an outside linebacker, so it's, it's kind of perfect for him. And um, but yeah, yeah, I think he's liking liking the safety right now. I think it makes sense when we're in base, but when we spread it in three receiver sets, you know, we really wanted to learn how to play that nickel. Does the prospect of facing Hunter with that much inexperience in the secondary yeah. make the shadow a little? Yeah, bit? it's scary. I mean, they're they're really good at throwing and catching, and Boyd's. One of the best players in America. They got some really, they got some really skilled receivers, and uh, they know what they're doing. So it's going to be a big challenge, no doubt. Coach Butler talked about Xavier Ward and just how much he progressed this right. What did you see out of him? In this part? Right. Well, right now he's much he's much stronger as a pass protector than a run blocker. I think he's still a little bit behind in his leg strength um, to really move people. Uh, running the ball, he's, he's still. If you put your hat in the right spot and your hands and you and you and you fight, you know you you can still do a, a pretty good job of running the ball with a guy like that. But he just got to continue to get stronger. Uh, but pass pro, I like what I'm seeing, and, and 
that's a big part of the game. If you if you got tackles that can't set quick enough to to pass pro, and if they if your tackles always need help in pass protection, it makes it tough to function. So right now um, he's one of our better pass protected tackles. You just got to get stronger up front. And you know when Burnett comes back, you know where does it all end up? I don't know. I mean we word Gates inside some just in case. And, uh, you know, I think, I know Gates can play tackle or guard. Um, I think Ward is a tackle only. Theus can play tackle or guard. Uh, you know, I don't know, I just, I just don't know where it was gonna end up. We're just gonna try to get the best five out there and hopefully have a little rotation in there as well. <coughs> how, do you, how do you view uh, Welch and Lemay in terms of your third string guy? Uh, Right. Well, the one thing about LeMay especially is uh, when you play a game like this, Mike and I talked about the possibility of letting some of our younger guys, uh, quarterbacks, just wear a normal jersey and play ball because, um, you know, Bryce has got some athleticism to him and Parker would be fine and, and LeMay certainly would, I think, benefit from just playing ball without any restrictions on um, being able to run the football because those are some things that he can add to the game that you just don't see in the spring game. You don't see much when you put a guy in a protective jersey. But we know he has that ability and, and sometimes you just gotta let, get a, let, let a guy play. But in, in the games next year, if he's in the game, he's gonna be able to use his wheels and, and that, that changes a lot for him and for us as how, how we would call the game. So uh, even though Parker did have a good day, you know, I wouldn't sit there and say, that he's uh, nailed down that spot. I guess Aaron, pretty sharp. Uh, Mark, uh, 200 yards, about a half a game, and especially the drive for the half, uh, mm -hmm. come down the field in about 25 seconds for three passes and score. Mm -hmm. Be pretty pleased with his overall. Well, that was good. I didn't like the sack he took on the front end of that. Of that, you know, I think you've got to, in that type of situation, you got to be willing to throw the ball away. Because here's what happens when you go up in the pocket like that. Uh, you're going to get hit real hard, you might fumble, and you're going to force us to call a timeout. All those things are bad. If you just throw the ball out of bounds, you don't lose any yards. The other thing, is, like, you can lose yards when you take a sack. Usually you do. Now, this one, he scrambled up and maybe got a yard. But, uh, you know, I don't want him to get exposed to that hit. I don't want him to fumble the ball, and I don't want to call a timeout. So, you know, he's got to make sure he handles the first play of the drive as good as he handled the next three plays of the drive. And uh, those are just little things that uh, he's got to continue to be aware of and, uh, and do a better job of. But, yeah, I mean, he's, he's definitely, I mean, he had an impressive day. And I guess I'm nitpicking a little bit, but, you know, he's a four-year starter now. Mark, I know you said you hadn't talked to Ron, but did you get an update on John Atkins? It seemed like he got banged up there late in the first half. I didn't, you know, I thought he, didn't he keep playing though? It seemed like I saw him in the second half, I thought I did. Um, by now, Ron, if something happened, Ron would have come to me. If something happened, I didn't know about it. I didn't, I was sitting in the locker room for, I don't know how long, 10 minutes while, while you were doing the players, and no one came to me with anything, so I'm assuming that's a really good sign. How long is uh, Mitchell's surgery keeping out for in terms of like two months ahead? Uh, it's not even months, it'd be weeks, two, three weeks. When you have a tear, when you have a, when you, when you trim a cartilage, it, it goes pretty quick. Two, three weeks if you have to repair it you sew it back together whatever and then you have to wait for that healing process it takes longer but this one ought to be pretty quick mark do you think uh, the other receivers uh bennett terry do they oh, be yeah. ready for the preseason well i know bennett will for sure he's ahead of terry as far as the time frame um but but terry's terry working very hard ron has uh the hopes that when camp starts there won't be any limitations other than get used to playing on, on it. You know, I think there's always a, a factor of trust in it again. So we'll see how he how he does there. But um, but um, Michael's already running routes, control in a controlled situation, and and he uh, Ron has said that he would be uh, with no limitations as early as June. So you, know, you got June and July in camp. So I would think he'll be really ready to go and. Tramel's time frame is closer to having no limitations, you know, maybe July, late, mid, late July. So that, you know, he'll have a clean bill of health to go. Will he really be in enough, good enough condition at that point and know enough and have enough reps to really help us 
you know, we'll have to wait and see. But but he's very conscientious. He's he's paying close attention. Some guys that are verbal just kind of stand off to the side and feel sorry for themselves. And he's uh, he's in every meeting, paying close attention. He's watching every practice, what's going on. He's asking questions constantly. Um, he really wants to play this year, and I, I think that'll be a good chance that he will. Coach, was that the first time you've seen the video of, with David? I saw the preview of it. Uh, I got to look at it before uh, I okay the, the spots that I did in there. Uh, it was it was fun. It's fun to do something with your son and, and something that he loves. And it was a little bit corny, but uh, hopefully everybody enjoyed it. Coach, what would you like to have? Uh, Right. Well, you know, um, I'm glad you asked that question. More and more, our, our players come back. They come back to hang around the spring game. They come back to graduate. They come back to work out uh, in our facility. Um, they just enjoy being around. Even, you know, we had a massive amount of guys uh, playing in the uh, in the flag football game. We've got a bunch of other lettermen that enjoy golf more. We had a nice meal with them on Thursday night. Um, I just think guys are feeling more and more comfortable to coming back. And I'm talking about the the younger generation of the uh, lettermen's group. And uh, it's always nice to – I think it's fun for them to come back and see people they know. If their, their head coach is still there and some of their assistant coaches and guys, uh, even academic people, or whatever it is, there's just a familiarity for them – to come home and feel like they're at home. And it's, uh, we create a really good culture that way. Do y'all run trick play every year on the first play? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they, they, they love to, uh, you know, go. there's not as much at stake, you know, so if the play doesn't work, it's not that big of a deal, but uh, they love, they like the trick plays. What happened to the play that was fan submitted? Okay. You know what? Coach Lilly would have to tell you that. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't. Uh, he asked me permission if I was okay allow, you know, doing that. I said, that's, that's, that's good. You clean fun. So <laughs> I'm not sure what the play was, to be honest with you. We'll maybe ask, we'll ask Coach Lilly and find out here Monday or Tuesday. Is that about burn that play for Clemson? Clinch? Yeah, you hate to do that, don't you? You know, <laughs> <laughs> it might be a good one. We would control it really pretty good. Sure, Artie was there, right there. Yeah, Artie, yeah. and he threw that pass to Keith last year. Keith dropped it too. Wood was over. Was that Wooden? He should be two for two. Yeah, <laughs> Wooden throws it well. Can you talk about Deloach's ability at a yeah. strong side backer? And I like him there, uh, Deloach. He's a he's a big kid. He's very athletic. Uh, we were thinking when we signed him, he might be an inside linebacker, but um, but he's he, he's he's very good out in space, out in the flat. He he comes off the edge as a good pass rusher. Uh, I think I'm in our first and second down stuff, uh, he's more of a Sam linebacker, like you mentioned. But when we get into some nickel situations, I think he can provide some rush for us. So, um, really, we've got a lot of high hopes for him. Any more questions? Uh, Coach, how did, yes. you, how did you view that first drive uh, from the perspective of the defense? Like, how did they do that? Yeah. Well, you know, we gave up a couple big plays. And some of the plays were... I think when you when your defense uh, plays against the offense all spring long, it kind of gets a hang for what they're doing, certain formations and all that kind of thing. And then all of a sudden, you pull out a few tricks that you had to use all spring long. You might catch them off guard, and that's the one. That's the tough thing about defense is it's hard to prepare for things that you hadn't seen, you know, all spring long. So I think a couple of those plays uh, uh, were plays that we hadn't really run much, but we executed well. And then they, I, thought they, I thought they settled down pretty good for the most part. Now that drive before the half certainly was not good. But we don't spend a lot of time working on uh, the one-minute, two-minute drills uh, in the spring. We do it a little bit. We do one scrimmage, but we don't really do it a lot. We do a lot more in the fall. Okay. Thank you.